My name is Tonya Cladera. I am a vocational and a CLIL teacher. Two years ago, I wondered how I could improve the CLIL teaching in my school. As a result of the education I received at the Master of Universidad Autónoma de Barcelona and the cooperation with my school colleagues, I came up with this paper, Fostering English Medium Instruction in Vocational and Science. It was carried out in a high complexity school located in the outskirts of Barcelona. The school offers secondary education and several vocational studies. The overall objective of this paper is to report on the design and implementation of two CLIL teacher education actions addressed at vocational and secondary teachers. These two objectives would be attained through two actions, a first to face course and an innovation team. Let's move on to action plan one, a face to face course. The goal was to experience clear techniques and strategies and develop skillfulness in their application. The activities that were planned and performed were mostly focused on language support for input and output and how to foster classroom interactional competence. Regarding Action Plan 2, it was called Innovation Team for the Enhancement of CLIL Teaching Practice, and a group of eight participants was created. We met every two or three weeks during all the school years, and the main objective was to improve students' L2 communication skills by means of CLIL teaching skills and to this and by designing CLIL lessons and do all of this with good vibes in a good uh, environment. Most of our sessions were devoted to design CLIL materials and share them in, in a blog. Uh, you can uh, find this, uh, this, book, this blog but by taking a photo to this QR. The results of both actions were evaluated through the administration of two surveys among the participants. My paper shows the quantitative results as well as the participants' comments. It also offers my personal point of view, analyzing the strengths and weaknesses of the results obtained. And finally, thanks to my tutor, Cristina Escobar, and my inspiring colleagues of JEP, Teresio Plurilingüe. Without them, this paper would have not been possible. Hello everyone, this is Cristina Roca. I am a director and English teacher at Welcome Language School in Ripoll. Recently, I've completed my master's degree in teacher training for secondary school, vocational training and language teaching. First, I would like to express my gratitude to John McDowell Committee and all the members of the APAC Association for convoking this award and considering my research project. I want to mention Dr. Nuria Kams from the University of Peak, who has tutored and directed this paper. I appreciate her dedication and support in the research process. I also want to thank Institute Mestre Andreu of San Juan de las Abadezas for allowing me to obtain data and thus to be able to respond to the research objectives. Finally, to the entire teaching team of the master's degree in teacher training of the Faculty of Education, Translation, Sports and Psychology of the University of Peak. As for my final master's project entitled The Importance of Written Corrective Feedback to Improve Students' Writing Skills in English as a Foreign Language, it's a case study that emerges from the necessity of developing and constantly monitoring the competence of written production. Thus, uh, this study has been conducted to analyze the types of errors most frequently targeted by English language teachers through several interviews. 
Next, to investigate the strategies used to respond to students' written productions and verify which type of feedback, uh, direct, indirect, or metalinguistic, is more encouraging and beneficial for the participating students in the fourth year of secondary studies at a secondary school in the region of Ripollès. The results show that learners prioritize one type of written corrective feedback being direct in contrast to teachers who prefer a combination of the three types of corrective feedback after mentioned, depending on the level of the learners. Thank you so much for your attention. Hola, soy Susana Gómez Martínez, investigadora del Departamento de Filología Inglesa en la Universidad de Valladolid, el campus de Soria, y estoy trabajando en un proyecto europeo, Erasmus+, Plus, denominado Shifting Walls. El principal objetivo de este proyecto europeo es abrir este debate entre los más jóvenes y ayudarles a reflexionar y pensar de forma crítica sobre la situación y la importancia que supone conocer la historia para poder entender nuestro presente y forjar nuestro futuro. La actividad principal del proyecto consistirá en la creación de relatos fotográficos por parte de los estudiantes participantes, es decir, la redacción de un texto en el idioma de su elección, que puede ser su lengua materna o la lengua extranjera que estén estudiando, y este texto va acompañado por una o varias fotografías que ilustren la idea de la historia que han escrito. Como principal atractivo del proyecto para nuestros jóvenes nativos digitales es el uso de Instagram, la red social que utilizan para compartir las historias fotográficas creadas. Lo que hemos hecho es un kit de herramientas didácticas con fichas de trabajo para profesores y estudiantes, una serie de videotutoriales y otros materiales de formación para docentes. Estos materiales están disponibles en nuestra página web de forma gratuita como recursos educativos abiertos y están traducidos a seis idiomas. Este tipo de proyectos europeos son un claro ejemplo de transferencia a la sociedad, puesto que analizamos las necesidades educativas reales y actuales y aportamos una investigación y unos materiales gratuitos que los profesores pueden implementar de forma muy sencilla y sin coste alguno en cualquier centro educativo público, privado, de secundaria, de educación universitaria, escuela oficial de idiomas, academias de idiomas, centro de formación de adultos, etc. Hello everyone, my name is Ignacio. And I am primary teacher at the school Institución Gualada. For explaining my project, I would like to thank APAC Jury for choosing us as one of the award winners. My unique proposal is called My Favorite Animal. Fourth class students have worked in natural science subject. This proposal follows the Kappa model, which was created by Diana Tedic and Roy Lister and focus both on content and language.
The experience has been very positive. The students have learned some contents related to the subject, but they also have had the opportunity to reinforce some grammar features. That's all! I hope you have enjoyed the video and learned new strategies for your classes. Bye!